God damn. And why am I... Ha- <gasps> Female girl. <laughs> oh. 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 No, I'm fine. Oh. 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 Get back, Ashley. I mean, uh, you, uh, you're a Ada. woman and you're the same person. Ada. Must. Kill women. <laughs> Must kill women. <laughs> <laughs> Jing. Oh. Oh, the great value gamers told me to not condone women. Hey. hey don't put this on us, Leon. <laughs> Leon. That's what Bo Jaden wants. <laughs> that's him taking his normal pills. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. The lore. The lore, man. It's so deep and spicy. I'm just waiting so I can start ranting about Vegeta fans again. <laughs> just can pick it right back up after Mike's um, departure. <laughs> Nothing happened to Mike. He's fine. He's fine. Mike went off to get the milk. Yeah, Mike went off to get the drinks. Went off to uh, read the next chapter of Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> he went to the big bar in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, like, go off about Vegeta fans. Yeah, but as I because said, because there is one part, specific instance that Markiplier talks about. Vegeta fans be like, <laughs> with, with his dick, it's just like I get, like I get, he's he's a good character, guys, but like, oh god, <laughs> he's not like he doesn't need to win. He doesn't. Goku honestly is written with being the winner at the end of the day in mind, whereas Vegeta is rarely ever. And fucking. Whatever. Like, the only arcs I can argue would be, like, Resurrection F and, like, the Moro arc. And that's it, maybe. And it's, what were you gonna say? I think there's one specific instance that Mark talks about. I, I, I know nothing about Dragon Ball, and it's been a while since I listened to that segment of the podcast. So, I might bunger this a little bit. But, like, it's something like Vegeta... It's like a self-sacrifice thing to kill one of the villains, and then the villain just comes back, (laughs) and then Goku has to defeat him. Yeah, that's a scene a lot of people say. Oh, that's where Dragon Ball should have ended. Like, they're fucking idiots. Okay, like, okay, this is... I wouldn't say that. No, no. The way Markiplier described it, it sounded kind of dumb. Well, here's the thing, right? This would be like if... This would have been like if, uh... No, I was about to compare this to when... Bucciarati and uh, Trish are on the elevator. Imagine mm. if they just handed off Trish and that was it. That was the show. <laughs> but it's not even that. It would. It would. Imagine if it ended like with the fight before. No, like them getting out of the boat. That's where part five. Ends. <laughs> That's what it's like. There were so many loose and story things that hadn't been told. Shit. Like, then to get there would not have made any fucking sense. I don't think that's what Markiplier was oh. saying. I think he was just saying Or Or beating like, Boo wouldn't have made any sense there, because, oh, like, they literally just introduced him. I think he was just saying that because, like, that just kind of felt like a shitty thing to do for Vegeta. I think, and that's I think what it, it's at. still a good moment because it shows that he had grown so much at that point, even though he didn't, like, he didn't... Whoa, hello. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> oh, God, it's a Vegeta fan. Shoot, shoot it, shoot, kill it, kill it, <laughs> kill it. But like my, even then it showed that he was he'd grown a lot from when the series began, and even the fact, even though he didn't like, you know, he didn't, you know, fucking kill the bad guy, it still showed what character he was then, and he fucking came back from that. Like he he died and he just came back like I got better. <laughs> he's like he's like he's like uh like they literally just brought the guys him. are all at the hospital getting cured for death. They should all be fine. <laughs> Looking like, the walls. <laughs> it's like I died, but it was, it's okay. I came back. <laughs> I like, but I forgot what the joke was. It was a reference to the Ice Age dinosaur movie. I don't remember. <laughs> Ice Age dinosaur movie. An Ice Age, bro. Bro, you remember that shit, bro? Bro, uh, I don't understand Ice Age, man. I don't think anyone does. I remember because uh, I remember seeing the first movie. I've seen like the first three movies and a little bit of the fourth. The only one I, re- like, remember the most is, like, the first one, and I think that's the just... The first this. one is, like, the only good one? <laughs> I don't... Actually, the second one I thought was decent, I, but it's been, like, so long. Yeah, it's been so long since I've seen the... Yeah. Like, last time I saw it in full, I was, like, four years old. Exactly. 
It was like brand new when I saw so it. This next segment's kind of really extremely homophobic. Ah. So uh, avert your eyes. Is, is Yosuke from P4 in here? <laughs> Of course, you know, the guy, <laughs> the guy who I vibe with the hardest had to be the, the not, or it had to be the homophobic guy. Okay. Is it, that looks like the guy from the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 meme, where he's like, remember the MPLA, or destroy the MPLA. <laughs> like, stop watching this, brother. You gotta take down the MPLA. <laughs> just imagine him just being, like, like him being in like one of those, uh, it's like one of those bait and switch memes, but with Ashley. Like, Put this down, brother. We've got to take down Bo Jiden. <laughs> gotcha. Leon, stop looking at my OnlyFans and take down Bo Jiden. I can't believe that's the lore. Bo Jiden is now <laughs> officially king. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Me neither, but I, I can't help but wonder if there could be something more. <laughs> I just like the idea of just Joe Biden having an eviler twin. Yeah. No, Bo Jiden's like the good twin. <laughs> the good twin. But he calls the, the 2008 thing. <laughs> yeah, so... Like, in spite of how evil he is, he is still the better of the two. <laughs> True, he doesn't associate with Dream. <laughs> yeah. Right, who's, who dis? No, he took the fucking key card. Now he's coming after me instead of hiding uh, like an idiot. I think I was stuck on the wall for a second there. Yeah. It's because you're not supposed to approach from <laughs> this angle. Ah. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> no weird game I'd like okay. to... Weird game I'd kind of like to do for the channel. Yes. I'd like to do some uh, game dev tycoon. Yep, I'm down. I have a lot of nostalgia for that game. Oh my, he's just filling in bullets. Yeah. I'm yeah. not nostalgia for that game. I'd like to do the multiplayer mods. Oh yeah, there's this, there's this thing that my sister came up with. So in Batman lore, um, the um, the Riddler's name is Edward Nigma, right? Oh boy. Nigma. All right. Edward I'm Nygma. not gonna repeat that anymore, <laughs> except for this joke. So my sister came up with this phrase, Edward my Nigma. Oh my God. <laughs> Edward my Nigma. Yes, and I like that's like one of the most witty things she's ever come up with. I I and Batman should have said that. You should have been like Edward my Nigma. <laughs> Just cut back to the scene of him at uh of uh the Riddler in jail. <laughs> I really should have watched the Batman. I really wanted to. I I want to know the context. Why, like, why is he screaming in jail? Like, is he that mad over getting arrested? Probably. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> and he realizes he won't be able to watch any more part six. <laughs> Actually, no, it's, it's gonna be. It's, by the time he's out, it's still not gonna be finished. <laughs> exactly. They're gonna be fucking dead and buried. Their final Netflix is gonna be like, alright, we're finally finishing part six. That's <laughs> how it's gonna be when they fit, get up to like Jajolian. Jajolian, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna release this in batches of five episodes over the next three over the next three thousand years. <laughs> well, it's more like I'm thinking of like when they get to, like, damn, I'm not thinking of like when Netflix gets to releasing it. I'm imagining like, I mean, if like, in the good timeline where <laughs> David David Production stops letting Netflix help with JoJo, and they go back to releasing it weekly, like I, I'm just wondering how long will JoJo Lean be? I know jo Jolie in the manga is pretty long. Like, I mean, yeah, it was... No, it was... It, was it the long, Yeah, it was the longest JoJo part. Because, uh, you know, Steel Ball Run was like... Can we go back to when JoJo manga, like, only had 69 chapters? <laughs> I don't remember when that was the case, actually. Part... What was One, it? maybe? Part 2 had 69 chapters. Uh, look, I just remember that, uh... JoJo Lee... I mean, Steel Ball Run lasted, like, seven years, and then... Jojolian lasted 10. Just fucking weird, because, like, you know, Jojolian takes place in 2011. Oh my god. Oh my god, Flores. Flores. <laughs> why are you, uh. Why are you him? Peter? Yeah, why are I you I don't Peter? know, I, I get. I become Peter when I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Just turns into Peter Griffith when you're, uh, a little nervous. Exactly. Oh, yeah, we have Max Health now. Uh, for how long? Forever. 
Oh, okay. I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, we've got our max. Oh, that's the max amount of health you can have. So now the rest of our yellow herbs go to Ashley. Right, okay. Bye. Bye, dude. <laughs> See you, bozo. <sighs> Every time I say this game goes on a little longer than it should, this is one of the parts that I think about. <laughs> I'm not really sure what we're trying to do here. We're trying to open a door. Ooh, okay, I see. So give me your estimate. Uh, estimation is the help. Estimation. Thank you. You know, I actually got really high English scores. <laughs> I did too. Like, they said I had highest in the state. Some of the highest in the state. I don't know how. I had like one of the best writing scores back in the day when I... When I like, I think it was like ninth grade testing. Or like eighth grade testing, and then like ninth grade, they told me you had one of the greatest writing scores in the like state. I think. Yeah, they told me the exact same thing. <laughs> Damn. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, okay. See the fist bump. <laughs> but uh, what was I about to say? An estimation, whatever the word was. Estimate. Shut up. Estimate is the word. Okay, you're looking fine, for. fine. Ah, boo hoo. Okay, get it, bro. Uh, actually, I actually got high English score. <laughs> I know that's it's like a soy jack. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to say, I, I want to know, like, what's your estimate about how many more episodes? Like, ten? I'm, I'm gonna maybe ten. not that many. Maybe like six, seven, eight. Not t a little under ten. A little under ten. Not exactly ten, but a little under. Well, I was close, so it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's been a while since I last beat this game. But I know we're getting close. Right. Eyes on the prize, Leon. Ada. Because <laughs> who gives a shit about Ashley? So I guess that means we're not going to do... Um, I guess we could just do those later. Like assignment Ada. And um, I mean, we could separate ways like, campaign. Oh, yeah, later probably would be better. Yeah. I mean, just kind of like an epilogue like we did in Sonic 06. Yeah. Uh, Whatever the fuck. Oh, right, I just remember. There is a game I, I wanted to suggest. Not really for the channel, but just to try it out. I was mm -hmm. going to make you download it. Cause, okay. So this is a Sonic fan game that just came out called Sonic Omens. And people have been shitting it up. Shitting, shitting it up? The, that is the... Whoa, whoa, that's a big fucking... Yeah, Lost Belong. This is like a sword. Yeah. I lost this being those guys. But yeah, shitting it up, that is the opposite of hyping it up. That I, The word that I have just invented. But, um... People have been making fun of it all day. Oh. I kind of wanted to see if it's bad or good. I feel bad for it because, like, if it's a fan game, then it's probably made by, like, one person in their, like, basement. I feel like, I believe it was made by a couple of people, like a team, but... Mm -hmm. kind of sucks. This is where, this is the e-girl producer. Yeah, this is where they... E-girl producing machine. <laughs> this is where they steal the life force from e-girls. <laughs> ah, Leon. Interested in your own e-girl, huh? Why? 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 Why, Bo Jiden? Why? Oh. You ever see uh, <laughs> Doctor Strange? I n I've seen your crypto wallet. <laughs> you have NF tits in there. <laughs> Give me. I'm the inventor of NF tits. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Ashley just take. I mean, Ashley. Ada. Ada just takes that a little personally. Yeah, just a little personally. Objectifying women. Are, again, are we, Bojiden? <laughs> damn you, Ada. And damn you, Leon. <laughs> once I win the election, once I take my rightful place as president, I will make sure that this country will never condone women. <laughs> Not because I'm misogynistic, just because it would be funny. <laughs> just to flex my power. <laughs> I will be mis- I will kill you, Leon! <laughs> Guess it's like that tickles. Bullets do nothing to me. That, however, that does something. Ow, 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 <laughs> ow. <laughs> ow, that hurts a little. What the fuck? <laughs> Right, so, um... Where's Ashley? Okay. What was I about to say? The thing about Sonic, this new Sonic game, Sonic Omens, 
I feel like the reason people are shitting on it as much. Hang on. Pause here, pause here, pause here, pause here, pause here. Is because, um, you know, ever since Mania came out, there's been this perception among certain Sonic fans that Sonic fans know better than the creators of the series. Because yeah. Mania was a, was apparently only made by fans, not people who actually have, uh, you know, fans who have credits in the actual fucking industry, you know? Just ignore the fact that they're more than just fucking fans, but, you know. Um, but, you know, there's just been this perception among certain fans that Sonic is, you know... You know, the fans understand it better than creators, and so when Omens came out, and that was getting a lot of hype, I felt there was, like, a little bit of backlash to that, too. It's definitely not a perfect game from what I hear, though. Mm -hmm. So the criticism is a little fair. Just keep in mind, if you're criticizing a fan game... Okay, I was just looking at the clues. If you're criticizing a fan game, remember, these are made by either one person or really small teams, and making a video game is one of the hardest things you can do. Making a good video game is even harder. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm not saying criticism shouldn't stand, but I'm saying, you know, say say your criticisms in an encouraging way. Be like, here's what could have been done differently. Here's what could have made the game better. Things like that. So, I'm thinking when we uh, finish this part up, we can probably, like, I w I'd like to try it out. Yeah. Alright. I, oh, uh, oh, I hear in the game uh, Chris Thorndike from uh, Sonic X. I don't know if you remember who he is. Nope. He's the human. The human? <laughs> yeah, from Sonic X. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he shows, he's in it. Oh. And he yeah. dies. <laughs> Based. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, do you know shit? Do you know anything about Sonic X? Uh, I know I used to watch it. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, that's me too. I've never seen it beginning to end. I just the last time I saw it was like ten years ago. Hey Ashley, you wanna see me reload this gun really fast? <laughs> <laughs> I did the rest of it with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're just like Bojide? Do not <laughs> call me Bojide. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that fucking that goddamn sound clip, bro. <laughs> so good. Um <clears throat> You know, we were talking about dreams a couple episodes ago. One weird recurring dream I had, and you, you are not going to fucking believe this when I say it. Mm -hmm. One recurring element of my dreams is that there's a fucking television block with anime on it. <gasps> no way. Like a Saturday morning television block with anime. That's just a recurring part of my dreams. Holy shit. So this is... We found a fun little machine. This is the... Uh, the boyfication machine. <laughs> I didn't think he'd get <laughs> it. Locks you in. I didn't think he'd get into it. Femboyification beginning. Yeah. All right. See my uh, well, actually, do guys have to mm. test their own, right? Yeah, it's yeah, testosterone. To ta testosterone. See, see Leo testosterone. High grades testo in English. Oh, my Can't fuck pronounce off. testosterone. <laughs> I've never used that word <laughs> yeah, in, no, yeah, in a no. sentence before. But his is so high, it would not turn him into a femboy. Yeah, yeah, it just cancels out. Which is why it only kills the Las Plagas. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh, Ashley, I almost became a femboy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, now get in. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this show. <laughs> she can't turn into a femboy, she's a woman. Well, it's the kinky electrocution machine. You have to fight off the femboyfication, <laughs> Ashley. You have to fight. Because <laughs> like me, no, if you don't, you die. It has the opposite effect on women. It turns them into tomboys. No, it just kills them. <laughs> it just kills women. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's a machine made by Bojida. Yeah, I was supposed to say, it could have, it's, it could have, you know, turned them into tomboys. But yes. Bojida thought it would be funny yeah. if it just killed yes. them. Yes. they're women. <laughs> yeah. He modified it to where he did that. I like the idea that, that he's just not even, like, misogynistic. He's just an asshole. Oh, we're on, like, the final chapter. Oh, shit, you oh, want to stop here? I mean, it is a little early, but... It is a little early. Uh, let's see if I can find a save point. Or, we just saved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Well, let's head back. Because there was a door... Or maybe... Hang on. Let me explore this area. I don't remember which way is the way forward. Let me investigate real quick. And then uh, we'll just outside from there. The investigation takes take up the rest of the time. Okay, so there was a door back here that leads somewhere that I would like to investigate. And to speed it up, just, you know what it's time for. 
Dip. Dip man, let's go. Everyone's favorite glitch. So, um, yeah. I love Ditman. I don't know why I'm just thinking about part five is ending theme. And it's making me think of Jolene Can't again. Happen. And it's making me think of Pegging again. You need to just stop. Sure. Because I just want you to know she'll never peg you. I know. I mean, she's not real. <laughs> she's not real. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you could come as a cosplayer. Maybe I could become the cosplayer. <gasps> Holy shit, no way. Okay. That's enough. That's en enough talking about Jolene. We're moving on. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> uh, whatever you do, do not let Jolene peg you.